Hi, today we'll learn an interesting etude taken from volume 2 of the guitar method written by Leon Vicente Gascon. I've chosen it because of course I like it. It's about an interesting topic that is third intervals and it's based on the Habanera Cuban popular dance. Also, it's good to train left hand changes. Actually, many of the etudes in the book require you to continuously move the left hand up and down the neck and it's a great exercise to gain confidence and start playing without looking at the neck. Let's listen to it. Just a couple of notes before we start. First of all, a third is a musical interval encompassing three staff positions. Remember that the interval is the distance between two notes. Let's consider the key of the minor since this is the key of the etude. We have a B flat in the key signature. Let's take the root, D. If we skip E and take F, the interval between D and F is actually a third. In fact, if we count the notes, we have D, 1, E, 2, and F, 3. For the same reason, the intervals between E and G, F and A, G and B, A and C, B and D are also thirds. Another note, I told you that this etude is a habanera. This kind of music originated from the contra dance, which was a popular style of music and dance in the 18th century, derived from the English country dance and got adopted at the court of France. In Cuba, the contra dance became an important genre with the influence of African rhythm patterns and became known as habanera, meaning the dance of Havana. The time signature is 2-4 and the rhythm is characterized by an accented upbeat in the middle of the bar and is often used with an ostinato bass. Let's see a basic example. The Cuban habanera is different from the European contra dance in the use of syncopated cross rhythms like the tresillo and the cinquillo. These are basic rhythmic cells typical of African music. The example shows a tresillo over 2, where our ostinato bass is an F. If you are into classical music, you'll recognize the rhythm for the habanera aria in the Carmen by Bizet. We start from a D minor chord. The first part of the piece is characterized by a series of third intervals. We play both bass notes, open fifth and open fourth with the thumb, then we play D and F, a minor third, on the second and first string respectively. Then another third, E and G, and the chord now is an E minor 7 slash D. We play the same bass notes for every bar. Let's repeat E, G, and then we move to another third, F, A, and this is a D minor chord. This time using the middle finger on the first string. Bass notes again. Until here, it sounds like this. Now more thirds. F A, G B, this is a G slash D chord, A C, this is an A minor slash D chord, and B D, this is a B minor slash D chord. We go back to G B and play more dente with the pinky. Then we resolve on F A, that is again a D minor chord. We play again our bass notes, F A, E G, we repeat E G, D F, play the bass notes, D F, E open first string and C sharp second string second fret, D F again. Now keep down the ring finger, Add the index on 4th string 2nd fret 
and the pinky on 1st string 4th fret to play an E7 chord. E, open 1st, and we resolve on an A major chord. So half a bar at fret 2 and pinky at 1st string 5th fret. Bars 9 to 15 are equal to bars 1 to 7. In bar 16 we play open 5th at the bass and EG, C sharp and D, and then the first part on a D minor with DF. In the second part we play an A ostinato bass for 8 bars since we repeat it on every downbeat, that is twice for every bar. This part is more about 60 intervals. In the first 3 bars we have a quadruplet on beat 1, that is 2 notes on the downbeat and 2 on the upbeat, and a quarter note on beat 2. We start again on a D minor chord, so place ring and middle fingers on fret 3 of respectively string 4 and 2. Play A open 5th with the thumb, then 4th, 2nd and 4th string again. For this part, practice by using the index and middle fingers of the right hand instead of the easier index-ring-index -index combination. Now place index and middle fingers on fret 2 of respectively string 4 and 2. This is an A chord. Play open 5th, then 4th and 2nd strings together. Now place the ring finger on string 4 fret 5 and the index on string 3 fret 3. Play the quadruplet as before, then move the ring finger back to fret 3 and place the middle finger on fret 2. Relax the ring finger and slide to fret 7. Place the middle finger on string 2 fret 6 and play the quadruplet. Place index and middle fingers on fret 5 of strings 4 and 2 respectively and play a quarter note. Now move the fingers back to fret 3, play A, 4th and 2nd strings together for an 8th note, place the ring finger and pinky on fret 5 of strings 4 and 2 and play them together for a quarter note. Notice the fermata. You can prolong this E minor slash A chord a little. Until here it sounds like this. The next two bars are equal to bars 17 and 18. The left hand of bars 23 and 24 is also equal to that of bars 19 and 20, but on the upbeat of bar 23 we play 16th notes instead of 8 notes, and in bar 24 we play 16th notes on the downbeat. Bars from 21 to 24 sound like this. Now open 5th and open 3rd like in the first part, place index and middle fingers on fret 3 of respectively string 4 and 2 and play them together for an 8 duration. Place ring finger and pinky on fret 5 of the same strings and play also together for a quarter duration. Now open 5th and C sharp at its 4th fret, play again 4th and 2nd strings together, this is a C sharp diminished chord. Relax the ring finger and slide it to fret 7 while you place the middle finger on string 2 fret 6. Play them together. This is an F slash C sharp chord. Now open 5th and D at its 5th fret and a series of 6th interval, each having an 8th note duration and all played on strings 2 and 4. Repeat AF, then place ring finger and pinky at the 8th fret to play BG. To the 10th fret to play C A, then slide with the ring finger to fret 12 and place the middle finger on fret 11 to play D B together with A as the bass. Go back to the 8th fret with the index and middle fingers and play a mordente on fret 10 with the pinky. And go back to fret 6 and 7 as before. Now we repeat the same progression of bars 25 and 26 backwards and we get to bar 31. Here we play open 5th string, then the bass becomes a B flat. We play F and D together with ring finger and pinky. 
E and C sharp together with index and middle fingers, F and D again, G and E with A at the base, E and C sharp, and we end on a D minor chord. That's it! Enjoy learning the etude, and if you like it, I suggest you pick the guitar method by Leon Vicente Gascon. In fact, this etude focuses on a specific aspect of the guitar technique and music theory. See you in the next video! Ciao!